So how does a picture book get from an idea in somebody's head to an actual book you hold in your hand? You think about that. Wow, that's an amazing thing. But I also want to tell you a little bit first about how a children's picture book gets made. And I was trying to think, well, how can I tell the children? Because it's a very long process. So I decided to make a map. Then the illustrator makes something called a storyboard. And this is a picture of the storyboard. And these are little tiny sketches that go in uh, certain squares with the text. So this is actually the storyboard here. And so I have to decide, well, what, what's going to go, what picture would be good to say these words? Because in a, in a picture book, those pictures tell part of the story. So they have a lot of details in them. So I have to say, hmm, how will I express this, these words or these sentences in a picture? The illustrator makes something with a very funny name. It's called a book dummy. But it's a little pretend mini, mini book. So this was my little book dummy for Lola Ladybug. And it just has little sketches in it. The final illustrations. Now this is one original artwork from my book. And if you've read the book, some of you know, this is when the ants, the party of ants comes to the tree. She met a small snail who was reading a book. And shyly she asked, want to play in my nook? No, thanks. Snail replied, I'm not much for play. I'd rather just stay here and read books all day. She met a sly spider named Simon Legree, who tried to get Lola to come in for tea. Come rest on my web for a spell, he did purr. But Lola knew better and said, no, no, sir. Now I need a bumblebee. A bumblebee, a bumblebee. <laughs> A bumblebee. I have all of these. All right, you can be the bumblebee. You can come be the bumblebee. Now, to get us in the mood, this is Lola's. And a snail. Remember the snail had glasses? You put those on. And you have a snail antenna. And the spider. Mm. The scary spider. And the bumblebee. <laughs> the big bully bee. Perfect. And shyly she asked, Want to play in my nook? You want to play in my nook? I don't want to play in my nook right now. I really sit here and read all day. <laughs> Good. Okay. Let's do it one more time with four more volunteers. You can. Who would like to be Lola? Okay, Lola. And sent Lola flying along with her heart. She wobbled a bit, but then buzzed like a bee. I'm flying, she whispered. I'm flying. She whispered and shouted, Yippee!